What's going on guys? So we are back out here at the fifth wheel and we're gonna test a new product, one that I think you're gonna like. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right guys, so a really cool product that I'm gonna do a test on is this Furman WH3300IE generator. This is a dual fuel generator from Furman. It has 3,300 starting watts and 3,000 running watts on unleaded fuel, and it has 3,000 starting watts and 2,700 running watts on propane. What's really nice about this type of generator is you can fill your fuel tank with unleaded fuel and when you run out of unleaded fuel you can have a nice canister of propane next to you. So essentially you have the ability to deplete one and use the other. And I would always start with depleting your unleaded fuel so you don't have that nasty fuel inside of your generator when it doesn't need to be there. So basically kill all that fuel, move to your propane. First of all, I've already opened up my propane propane valve. I have it plugged into the quick release with the little electric regulator right here and it is switched to LP currently. I'm simply going to hit this little battery button right here. Go ahead and turn it on. You can hear the regulator kicking on. Start it up. It starts up very quickly. It's going to be a little bit quiet when it starts up. After about five or ten seconds it'll kick into full ready mode to basically give you the ability to plug in whatever you want at that point. It'll pull up your little display right here so you can see what your current voltage is. You can see it's 12.5 volts. So I'm gonna walk backwards away from it so you can kind of get an idea of how quiet it gets as you walk away. Right now I'm probably eight feet away. Maybe 10 feet away now. Now I'm probably 20 feet away from it. And as you can tell, it's a very quiet generator. Definitely on par with most of your quietest inverter generators. Now while I have that running, I'm going to go ahead and unplug my fifth wheel from its power source here. The AC is currently running. So you probably heard the AC shut off. Okay, so I had to reposition the truck so the cord would reach. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. I turned the AC off. So I'm gonna plug it in, run to the AC, turn it back on, and then you'll see how this thing works, kicking the AC on. The fan's kicking on, and then the compressor should kick on in a second, and you'll see the, uh, or you'll hear the generator kind of change tone for a second while the compressor kicks on. Okay, there's the fan. Give it a second and the compressor should kick in any second. There you go. Compressor kicked in. Absolutely no problem running. You can hear part of my air regulator over there rattling against the, uh, the inside of the bill right rack. But aside from that, no problems at all. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn on the microwave and see what happens. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this generator. Now, if you're gonna use unleaded fuel, you're gonna have 3,300 starting watts and 3,000 running watts. If you're running off of propane, it's gonna have 3,000 starting watts and 2,700 running watts, which is more than enough to power both the air conditioner, the larger air conditioner, I was running the 15,000 BTU unit, and the microwave simultaneously. Now, if I tried to kick in my 13 and a half unit, it would easily overpower the unit and shut the generator down and put it into an overload or an overload protect mode. So I didn't have to do that because I knew it would already do that. I'm going to go ahead and crank it back up. Starts up very quickly. It's a very quiet generator. Now I'm going to walk backwards from different distances to let you know approximately how loud it is. So from here, I'm about eight feet away currently. 
right here, I'm about 20 feet away. Now I'm about 30 feet away. So this would be about three RV slots away from where you would be parked or set up if you were parked next to other people in an RV park. As you move around, you'll see how it gets even quieter. Let me walk back towards it. Come around to the back. If you're looking straight at the back exhaust right now, I'm about five feet away. It's pretty loud, but that's typical with almost any generator if you're gonna be right behind it. But the minute you're outside of that direct fire of the exhaust, it drops in volume significantly. It's a very cool generator. I love the fact that it's dual fuel. And what dual fuel really means and where the benefit of that is, is the fact that if you run out of one fuel, you have another. So some people only see maybe a propane powered generator as a cleaner, easier to travel with forms of power generation. But to me, what I like about it is you can use the fuel on board until it runs out and then connect it to a propane tank. So you can essentially carry two forms of fuel for a single generator. And how that's gonna help you is you're gonna run roughly about four hours or five hours at half a load on the tank that's on board. And then you're gonna get another three to four hours out of that propane tank. So you're gonna have between eight to nine hours worth of power generation at a half load with the fuel you can carry with you without having to carry around a fuel tank um, with unleaded fuel in it that smells nasty, sloshes around, and isn't quite as safe. So something else that's really nice about Furman generators is that they carry a ton of accessories for their generators. They have this really cool kind of short 30 amp to 125 volt connection here, which lets you plug into the 30 amp connection as well as give you 320 volt outputs. They have a nice cover if you want to cover it while it's in the back of your vehicle or while it's in storage. They have this really cool 10 gauge 30 amp to 125 volt extension cord. This is a much longer version and this one's 25 feet long. They carry these really cool straps as well. They give you the ability to strap your cord to different things, whether it's the handle, whether it's a hook, whether it's something inside of a cargo trailer, whatnot. A lot of really cool accessories. And this is the inverter parallel kit. So this allows you to connect two generators together to provide 50 amps worth of current to your RV so you can power two AC units. This is really cool. It gives you a 30 and a 50 amp connection here. Plus it gives you two breakers up top. This is just a really cool setup. If you need to run two AC units, this is what you're going to need. You can plug this into two of those propane generators and you'd be able to power pretty much everything in your RV without any problem at all. Anyways guys, all this stuff is available on their website. I'll put a link to the inverter generator that is dual fuel. You can look at all their other products there as well. They carry all these accessories. It's just a really good company. They make a solid product and more than anything, they make a product at an affordable price. That's huge. You know, it's great to look at some of these generators that are two, three, four thousand dollars and wish you could have one. The nice thing about Furman and the e-trailer version are that they're very affordable. And if you want to get into a good quality, high power inverter generator, you have several different options from both e-trailer and Furman. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.